But first, only on 13 Action News, a scathing new report on Henderson's former police chief. Allegations of harassment forced out Henderson's former chief and deputy chief. And tonight, 13 Action News has obtained a report detailing those accusations. And anchor Masa Saidi spoke exclusively with both men named in this report. And Masa, they deny wrongdoing and say the timing is suspicious. That is right, Todd, Trisha. We just got this report, but it's from May of 2017. That's when the chief and deputy chief left the department. Well, tonight they both say the release of this confidential document is political payback. Tonight, the release of a 20 page report that claims the former top cop in Henderson was forced out in 2017. Independent investigators looked at whether Chief Patrick Morse engaged in inappropriate conduct of a sexual nature. They found the allegations substantiated. The report states that Morse joked about sex toys, touched a woman's buttocks, and sent text messages like, P.S., like the look tonight, and the boots. Be a little naughty with your nice. And I was hoping to be a bad influence. The report ending with the recommendation that the number one and number three man of Henderson PD, Deputy Chief Bobby Long, should be fired. Tonight, 13 Action News spoke with Long on the phone after a hospital treatment. I'm battling cancer. I have bigger priorities on my plate than to address an issue that has been laid to rest by me for over a year and a half. The May 2017 report found that Long yelled in the workplace, creating an atmosphere where multiple female employees reported being fearful. Both Long and Moore's off-camera deny any wrongdoing. I believe the effort to push this report into the media is politically motivated. They say the confidential document has been leaked to dirty up their name and reputation, especially since the former Chief Moores is suing the city of Henderson for defamation. They say the findings of this report are not credible. As an effort to target the chief, they sought out the disgruntled employees with 800 employees you can clearly find some of them that are disgruntled. Tonight, the city tells 13 Action News that Long and Moores were separated from Henderson PD after the investigation. A spokesperson says, quote, we have a responsibility to provide a safe workplace for all employees and to protect them from harassment of any kind. Masa Saidi, 13 Action News. And Chief Moore says that he couldn't be on camera tonight because of pending litigation against the city. Now we have his full lawsuit posted right now on our website at ktnv.com.